We've also seen a rise in, I would say, more empathic approach, more safe spaces, more discussions, more dialogues, more activist groups. Right, and I think this is all great, but there has to be action behind it. They didn't have diversity training for students until like, what, a year or two ago? Like, where has it been all these years? You, you've been recruiting these students of color, yet you don't have the environment for them here. So at what point do these talks come to like, okay, we got to now yeah. put it into action. And there's a story said during one of our uh, meetings that still sticks with me today because I find it so very true. If you plant lettuces in the garden and they don't grow, you don't blame the lettuce for not growing. You start looking into the environment around it, the soil, the sunlight. Did I plant it in the right way? Did, did it need more water? Did it need more sun? And it applies in higher education, right? You don't blame the student for not growing. It, it's the environment. There's something in the environment that caused that student not to grow. Yeah. And what that is, that's something that each college would have to look into. Maybe it's developmental classes that they need to have for some students that they're recruiting that maybe are not in the level of these other students, you know, and they need a little extra help. Maybe it's more resources. Maybe it's a first-generational program that you don't have at your college, but these students need it. Maybe it's having Spanish interpretation for events so that parents who don't speak English can understand what's going on for graduation or stuff like that, you know? Maybe it's hiring, if you have a high diverse of Hispanic students, then hiring people who speak Spanish and having Yo hablo español on my name tag so they know that they can approach you and you can help them. It's just so many different things that you can do to be a more equity-minded school that I think schools really need to look at that because I feel like equity is the foundation to everything else. If you don't have an equitable environment, then you won't have a successful diversity program where every voice is valued because you don't have an equity mindset. What is equity in higher education? Is equity more like affirmative action where you know we start trying to recruit more people of, of color or minorities or diverse people. Is that equity? Todd Dibramay, our CEO at Comtia, he stated it really well. I think this is a quote from someone else, so I won't attach it to him only. But he said, diversity is bringing more people to the table. Mm -hmm. Equity is giving them a seat and having them part of the discussion. And inclusion is having their voice be heard and have merit. And I feel like there's room for that in almost all scenarios. And it's not specific to gender, it's not mm -hmm. specific to race or religion, but there's room to allow us to hear people better mm -hmm. and to take action based off of what they say, if we care about those people. And right. that's why I think what you're saying is there's a lot of talking, but then the follow-up doesn't happen. Right. So like if, if you say you're an equitable school and you have these resources in place for your students, then have it in your mission statement, have your money go there, you know? hire faculty that look like me and you and the other students, not just, you know, sprinkles of people of color that are teaching. Have brave spaces for students of color that might need it. You know, have higher therapists of color. It's just like make sure that whatever those type of students that you're recruiting into your school are going to be able to grow. Mm -hmm. You know, you can't plant them there and then be gone and yeah. not water them mm -hmm. because they're not going to grow. You want a diverse set of students? All good and dandy. We'll get them. But what after that?